All right, guys, so we're gonna cut into our sunflower really quickly. Before we do that, I wanted to show you on my sunflower card. So I write notes all over my sunflower, all over my cards. And on this one, I was trying to figure out all of the flower parts. So the disc florets, I said probably had bilateral symmetry, so we cut those open, that was true. I imagined that the ray florets had a radial symmetry, but I do not believe that that is correct. I think that they have a bilateral symmetry. So if you see that on my card, just know that um, that's not true. And if you remember in this video, the O video where I, we talked about flowers, uh, I said that it might be a tubular corolla, but that is also not true. <laughs> um, it wasn't. So it was um, a corona corolla is actually what I'm going to write on there in just a minute whenever we... <laughs> actually finished, but do you see I have questions? So it's great to write things in pencil and then when you figure out that it was actually something different than you thought, you'll be able to write the new information. All right, so here is the sunflower. And as we know, this is a capitulum in fluorescence. So we have a main peduncle and then it comes up to this disc. So you can see really clearly from the side here, that this is the capitulum or the head of the sunflower and every one of these tiny, tiny pieces is a little floret. So these are gonna start from the outside in. So you see how all the ones I'm taking off right now, you can see that they have already blossomed and then the farther in we go, we're gonna get to where they aren't blossoming anymore. So we're gonna do that and then we'll cut into them. Look at that. And then, so we can, we're starting to see that disc or that head a lot more clearly as we start taking them off. So when you do this, after they have created all their sunflower seeds outside, it actually, the base is a lot more textured, but right now it's still pretty smooth. Okay, so see this? Right here, we have the pistil hasn't opened up yet. So these later ones, where it has the little eyeglass looking pistil, where it's fully opened up. That's the stigma there at the end. So let's see if we can get a little closer to the center here and find some more that are even less pronounced. There we go. There's one that's totally covered up. Oh, guys, look at these. Do you see this? So these, I believe, are the sepals. So the sepals are gonna disappear as it gets larger, these little guys. So they were covering up these, and I believe that they're sepals, but look, there's also this right here. So this might be a really great question for me to write do you see how it has these pieces? So maybe that's the sepal, or maybe this is the sepal. But I don't know. What is it? That's because that this part right here was probably covering over these petals, but this part right here was probably also covering over the whole thing, right? All right, I'm gonna move that just so we keep our progression. So when we got to the smaller ones, they are attached to this part. That's why I'm gonna put them together. That's actually what I was hoping to find as we got closer in, because I knew that the sepals are covering them at first and then they disappear. But now I'm wondering if perhaps there's also a smaller set of bracts that covers them. All right, there we go. There's one with it still attached. 
So this is a really nice progression right here. Hold that up just a little bit for you guys. Hopefully you can see that. We'll start here. And as they get more mature, they open up. So I'll we'll turn that up. Stay on there. I'll turn it around so that you can see the fronts of the flowers, the tops of them rather. So you can tell that, hopefully you're seeing this, that the ones here are totally closed and then barely, wah, barely starts opening right there, opening a little more, fully opened up. So there's our Corona Corolla looking like a little crown. And it does actually have five distinct pieces coming off the end. So that's an indication that it's what? Do you remember? If it has five of them, it's gonna be a uticut, five petals. All right, I'm gonna leave these guys on there. And I'll clear off this and we'll open up. They're so sticky, guys. Lots of nectar. That's why they're covered in pollinators. <laughs> oh, wow. Check out this guy. That one is amazing. Oh, and I just took it off. <laughs> I wanted to show you how it still had this piece attached to it. See that? All right. My hands are so sticky. I'm actually going to go wash them so I don't keep attaching them to everything. So it took me a little while to clean my hands, which makes me wonder, there's obviously a lot of nectar in there and a lot of stickiness. So I'm wondering, could you make or could you acquire sunflower honey? I know the bees like cover the sunflowers in the summer. So I'm wondering if there were a field just of sunflowers and the bees were kept right next to them, if you could have a sunflower honey. All right, so let's cut into this disc floret. The disc florets are the one in the center. They are the ones that have the male and female flower parts. So they are the ones that will produce seeds. And you can see that Hopefully here, let me get my glasses on again. Try to cut it open. It's really difficult when they're so tiny. All right, there we are. So, if you can see here, these top tall ones, the glasses looking ones, that is the stigma, the sticky stigma. And then it, it's a little twisty. So that goes all the way down on the style. And here is the ovary, it's so sticky. And so this is where our, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> everything is so sticky, where the seed is gonna form down in there. And the other really cool, thing about these flowers. My hands are so gross from this now. It's like brown sticky goo everywhere. Um, is the Corona Corolla. Oh, and you can see really well these stamen. See this? They're so tiny. I'll put it on this paper so you can see it a little better. So the stigma is, I mean, the, the stigma's up here. It's a little hard because it's twisted. The style is this lighter yellow part and then the ovary is down here. These are the stamen. So here's the anther, this darker part, and then the filament is down below it. So the, the anther is definitely, <laughs> the largest part of that stamen. And then if you can look at this petal, let's pull back 
the male and female parts and just look at the petal for a second. Here we go. And I'd love to show you the other side. Is this it? Okay. There we are. So here are the two sides. So this has one, two, three, four, five little points. So those are the petals, and then you can see how they were fused all together right here. And then we'll take a little bit closer look at a ray floret. So first, you can see it without me cutting it open yet. And you can, I don't know if you can see the, oh, let me get my black book. I can't see anything with my glasses on if I'm looking far away. But apparently I can't see, oh, it's way over there. All right, so I'm gonna lay this ray floret onto ah, a black book and then blow it off so that you can see the base of it, which is pretty cool. So here you can see where the petals are all fused together. Remember how I, we looked at the other um, calla lily and it had that bract that was overlapping, but it looked a lot like this. Here, there's no overlap. At the base, you can see that it is completely fused there. And then these that are, this is this white part is attaching the flower or this floret to the disc of the sunflower or the capitulum of the sunflower. And I will open that up so we can see what's going on. Now, it looks really cool, but as you can see, there are no anthers, there's no filament, those are the parts of the stamen, there are no stigma or style or ovary in there, there's, it's just a base for the flower floret to sit on. So this one is only for show. It is not for producing any seeds, um, I doubt it has nectar, but I'm, I, I don't see a nectary there. So I'm guessing that it doesn't have nectar. If you look at these, I'll just show you one that isn't opened up yet. So again, there's a lot I don't know, but I'm guessing that this part that's poofed out a little bit right here is where the nectar would be. So I'm gonna leave this one here for just a second. You can pause this, and if you wanna draw that individual ray floret, and here, I'll give you a couple of these guys. These are the disc florets. So very different size, and completely different shape, totally different function but all together they make this sunflower. So the sunflower as, a, as an entire flower looks like it has radial symmetry, but each one of these guys, as you can see, has bilateral symmetry, especially since this little, this flower here has that corona corolla because it has five different ones. So it's gonna have to, um, oh, actually that would be radial with the five, but then it has this crazy, really amazing, um, pistol sticking out up here that looks like cool sunglasses or maybe like a almost like a monocle double monocle for looking at the opera 
but you do have to cut it in half. So I guess you just cut one of those petals in half and then you'll get your bilateral symmetry. So there we are guys. That is our sunflower. Hopefully you can make some good notes and do some good drawings in your journal or on the back of the card.